Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm gonna take a closer look at the CST24 from Harley Benton. Thoman. Yeah, this is basically a PRS clone, of course, as you can see. Okay, let's go through it. We'll start at the top. We have proper working, really good no-name tuners, and uh, I've seen... Since I've tried a few Harley Bentons now, I've seen these and they are really good. I don't know. Maybe they should put them on all their guitars instead of paying extra money for Grovers or anything. Because these do the job and they stay in tune and they seem very solid. So that's nice. Uh, we have a <laughs> copied from PRS a very big fat black knot. And uh, watch my review of the PRS SE Custom 24 and see what I think about that one. We have a mahogany neck and as in basically all Harley Benton guitars that are these uh, set neck and three aside, we get a volute in every single model. So they're doing it right. And I'm really impressed because these are super low price guitars. And they are doing it right compared to super high-priced guitars from other brands that are doing it completely wrong. We get a rather wide, uh, it's not really that thick, but it's wide, this neck, so it feels, feels big for some reason. Got a rather flat uh, fretboard as well, and this, yeah, medium jumbo jumbo frets. Uh, the fretboard is made out of treated, heat-treated maple. Uh, and that's replacing rosewood because uh, everyone has to have a brown fretboard. If you're a guitarist, you need brown things, apparently. It's really important that things are brown. I don't know why. Like, they could have kept it a plain maple board, if you ask me. That would look really nice. Well, here you have a uh, treated maple, heat treated maple, and to make it even browner, they tint it. Because if you heat treat maple, it isn't this dark. So they tint it with, I don't know, black or brown tint. So And that wears off on your fingers. <laughs> if you play for a while when it's new, your fingers get all black. But it, I think it's really good. I love maple, so... That the fretboard itself is made of maple is really good. It's much much more even material than rosewood. It's nice and flat and it doesn't have all these pores that look really horrible. 24 frets, uh, glued in neck and we have the same heel as on a PRS guitar that has no purpose at all that I know of. But they are, yeah, they are copying the PRS. Mm, uh, the body is mahogany with a maple top. <coughs> and you can tell since uh, they have scraped uh, the sides of the maple top so you can actually see it. Uh, I'll get back to build quality later. Uh, we have a really nice arch to it. It looks uh, like the core PRS models, not at all like the PRS SC models that are, have a much simpler uh, arch and carve to them. This is almost goes in and then out again. It's really fancy. We get two Wilkinson uh, high output humbuckers and we get a solid uh, Wilkinson stop tail bridge. Volume tone with coil split. And a three way switch and a really solid metal output jack. That's it. So, materials and hardware gets a seven. When it comes to build quality, well, I should say that this is my second black CST24. The first one was faulty, so I had to send it back, and that's kind of disturbing because I've ordered guitars from Harley Benton or Tormann twice, uh, Harley Benton guitars, and I had to send back guitars every single time this far. So talking about build quality and stuff. 
when you look at the neck on this guitar or the fretboard of this guitar, you can tell that someone has done something to the frets. They've tried to email them out and make them, I don't know, nice and playable and uh, they're really polished and there are no sharp fret ends at all. But the very strange thing is that the frets aren't all seated into the fretboard. They are, some of them, very visibly a bit above the fretboard. And uh, if I was, I mean, setting up this guitar, I would make sure that they were into the fretboard first and then even them out. But here they have evened them out while they are above the fretboard. So that uh, can be a structural problem. Yeah. Uh, the finish on this guitar, uh, I don't know. The body looks kind of good the neck it's i don't know i don't know how they come up with these finishes because they aren't really even when i tried the telecaster the t20 that finish was even very even but this is i mean if you look close it's not it's not smooth i don't know it's not mirror like at all and i don't know is that because they have a really fast process when they make these probably probably the neck is seated nicely into the body. Uh, I think they should make a CE24 model where the uh, neck is actually bolted. Why not? The finish job, uh, otherwise, uh, yes. I mean, this scrape binding is a nice feature, but it's not done very nicely. And you can tell that some places here, for instance, and even here, yeah. Not perfect by any means. <sighs> Am I done complaining? Uh, maybe not. There's a crack in the fretboard here as well. Yeah. It gets a six, basically. I give you a plus for the volute. That's a good thing. <laughs> you get something. Uh, playability. The neck, as I said, is really wide, at least for my taste. But if you like this, maybe it's perfect for you. Uh, I found it I don't know uh, coming from other guitars I play strats and Gibson style guitars normally this is another thing and if you uh, again if you this is your thing then it's perfect for you for me it's I don't know it doesn't feel at home maybe that's just getting uh, adjusted to it and then we have the finish of the neck where it's really sticky and it just your yeah your hands get stuck on it so gets a seven otherwise it's, yeah it's it's not that thick it's rather thin actually the neck and yeah you can get up to the 24th frets electronics well the two humbuckers the uh, volume and tone and the three-way switch most of them work perfectly except for of course, again, as always, the tone knob, it doesn't work. Uh, it's full on or it's uh, completely off. Um, I don't know why they put these tone controls on all the guitars. They can completely remove them instead because they aren't doing anything. You can't use them in any way. And this is not a faulty thing in this guitar. It's the actual electronics they use all the time. I tried several guitars and it's the same problem, so. That's the kind of components they use. So it's good, but that's bad. So it gets a seven when all everything else works and it's nothing to complain about. Let's hear it. First, I'll start with the clean sound and I'll show you some of the cold split sounds as well. Cause yeah, they're really nice. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't know if you can hear it, but on uh, the G string, it's uh, buzzing and sounding kind of, I don't know, sitar-like all over the neck. I had the similar problems with my the first uh, CST guitar that I sent back. Then it was the B and E strings. And it's hard to tell, there's something structurally wrong with these guitars, I don't know where. Is it the bridge? I don't know. Can you hear it? Okay, let's try some overdrive. Finally, a high gain sound with some delay. I think these pickups from Wilkinson, oh, I don't know, they are kind of boring and uh, I don't know, maybe they sh should put some kind of low output Wilkinson humbuckers instead or now they're using Roswell pickups, Hollybenton, so maybe they have a more low output 
pickup i think that would make this guitar i don't know come alive because now it's kind of dead i gave it a six for sounds i like the coil tap thing coil splits thing that you can i don't know that makes it sound a bit better actually in my opinion but i like single coil pickups of course yeah so value gets a 10 even though i've complained all through this video um uh, you have to remember this guitar costs nothing it really costs nothing so uh, i mean the faults i've described are i don't know it's like you can accept them for this price it's still a playable guitar you can gig with this guitar of course you can if it's very solid and you pick it up and play it uh, it's just a minor detail to disturb me so well i should yeah again you maybe you should expect them at this price so all in all it gets a 7.2 which is kind of high and yeah the value draws it up of course yeah this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd, reviewing the Harley Benton CST24. There are several versions of this, uh, but they are basically the same guitar. They put a uh, paper thin uh, maple, flame maple veneer on some and paint them in a fancy color. Uh, this is the absolute cheapest one with a stop tail bridge. And I think the tremolo version, I don't know. They probably wouldn't stay in tune that good. And this stop tape bridge is kind of beefy and solid. So I think that's a better option, actually. Saves you lots of trouble. Yep, this has been Swedish Guitar Nerd. See you soon.